kick some tail. His coconut guns can fire in spurts. If he shoots up, it's gonna hurt. Oh, do good. Coconut gun. Loot lads. Yeah, I really hate I actually kind of like fishing. Really? Oh my god. I, I just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's one of those things that, like, <laughs> I like to do mindless shit, right? Yeah. But there's something about fishing that's primal, even though I have a fabricated rod, fabricated string, and I definitely bought my bait. <laughs> <laughs> and I bought the fish because I caught no fish while I was out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the excitement is the one fish you almost get, and then they all run away because there's an idiot trying to catch a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Very fair. If I had a boat, I'd have two chances. Maybe three, depending on how I felt that day. If I had a coffee, three. That's that's the patience. Welcome back to Fish Lads. <laughs> oh, we could play two player. But I don't wanna. <laughs> True, I wouldn't want to play with me either. <laughs> uh so yeah, I, I am on the controls. Devin here on controls. Uh Chris Boy, he's doing the commentary. The first thing you gotta do obviously is, you know, you get go back in and get that get that ball one. Oh. Right. The ball one. Uh, I need a banana check. How many bananas do banana you check? currently have? Banana check. Oh, it seems I have no bananas. It's a, I'm, I am lacking bananas. That's, that's not a banana horde. That's not a banana horde. I got a banana. Let's go check. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, shit. Oh, where'd the banana go? I think a I horde the... constitutes more than one, dude. What? Yeah. Two bananas. <laughs> Fuck! <What>? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with two ba two bananas. That's a fucking lot. That's too many bananas. Like, have you tried to eat two bananas at breakfast? That's that's just not happening. I just gave my large bear and that orangutan buddy of yours and dog a hygiene stick to their treetops on this list. You can roll over, slip over, just cross your move, jump to All right. Old people, right? They can, they think they can dispense knowledge, but all they're doing is drawing up house prizes, and making uh, the middle class disappear. I mean, is that uh, what? Is that a what's a slipper? Is that a? Is, am I supposed to be saying that? I I don't. Is that, is that like, offensive? This is this is early is that 90s a stuff, so I can't I can't really comment anymore. Like we've moved on as a society. I mean, a lot. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that, I mean, he's old, right? He's yeah. from, he's from like generation. At some point, you're gonna be like, it's the environment he's raised in. Like if if he was raised today. I feel like he'd be a little bit more tolerant amongst the like the yeah elegant. like today yeah today I uh, I do find it weird though like there is the whole burning cross level that we're gonna have to uh, censor in in Donkey Kong Country which I mean just uh, we we're safe just not even met. like just uh, just forget we said that you that's know? like that's the only mention I will do of it I get it I get it YouTube yeah, policies yeah. these days are a little aggressive um, um, I also think that when we get to like the the white the the, the, the the monkeys in white sheets level you know with the, again, with the pointy yeah. hats yeah just at least color them different like I know it's hard in post but like you can chroma key like pure white with uh, with other colors, right? Yeah, no, I'm gonna. Uh, it's uh, like spectrum. There's, there's a there couple things that I might yeah. have to like redo. Uh, God, <laughs> we should show this to fucking sick deck first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get, like, can we get approval from our, our friends first, and then can we have like? I feel like whenever I. I don't think he needed to go there. Yeah, but I love making the little barrel noise. What? What? What was this game made? It wasn't in the 40s. Like Again, the Nuremberg Trials. There's so much reference in this game. If you really take a look. Oh. It's, <laughs> it's shitty. I'm really not a political person, but as soon as the like sillies go in, I'm I just go too far. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there, I I am unfortunately way too uh, entrenched in politics. I uh, do not bring in here too much, but um, my oh, buddy, the barrels. However, I think um, I think are libertarian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you read, like, the labels on them, they, <laughs> <laughs> they, they, have, they definitely have, like, liberal conservative values, you know? If they walk a fine line. <laughs> like, just saying, we know who these people voted for. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> well, liberal barrels fighting uh, what can only be described as oh, alligators. Is there, is there the something? reptile people that run the government? Yeah. Mean? 
Actually, they are like the the, the industry, right? I believe so. Yeah. Can we can we can we make this way too political? <laughs> I think we've already been way <laughs> like we've had a good head start at this point. I mean, <laughs> fuck off, B. <laughs> I was gonna continue it. I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bees! There's donkeys in this one? No, be uh. <laughs> 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 but it's called Donkey Kong. Why is it called that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I get the Kong part. Where's the donkey? Oh, because it's political. I understand. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> because they vote. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's why they introduced elephants later on. God, I hate this game now. <laughs> <laughs> what if you go to the first boss, there's a huge American flag. And like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna record time oh, to get I like... I love this beaver. His face. Oh. <laughs> I got fucking hit. Okay. <laughs> Piece of the working class. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what? Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, can we restart this day? Oh, you know what? Fair. Today's been a wash. Fuck. Oh, that was gonna be cool. It was gonna be cool. You're right! Thank you! <laughs> wow, validation! Dang, finally! You noticed! Stop talking about proletariats for five seconds, maybe. I'm part of Bruce RC. What? What? Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that guy's wearing. Look. Oh, this just shit. Just saying, Donkey Kong's wearing a tie. Uh huh. And what do ties represent in our political uh, view? Look, move, move on. Move okay, on. All right, all right. The blue collar worker is. I not love how I also started this like, like, middle of it. it's like I'm not a very political. You're, yeah, person. your preface was uh, I'm not a political person. <laughs> yeah, but hammer and sickle though, I think this is real cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's really dope. I'm just, I'm just saying it's a cool logo. <laughs> <laughs> Th these jumps are awful. I it's fine. It's okay. I, I coded that when I said jump. You should have pressed the jump button. Look, all right. You got to spell it out way easier than that for me at this point. All right. My, okay, again, all right. butthole incredibly clenched. All right. Uh, we should have a safety word. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, pineapple juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pineapple juice. Don't don't go with pineapple juice. <laughs> Uh, lizard wizard. <laughs> this behemoth oh, lizard typhoon. Wizard. <laughs> lizard wizard. Uh, lizard wizard. Get. Lizard wizard. Okay. Lizard wizard. Okay. Lizard. <laughs> oh, fuck. Lizard wizard. Lizard wizard. Lizard wizard. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> what? Oh, see, it's because I didn't say it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I actually stopped. I, I stopped playing for a second. Damn it. <laughs> Where's my lizard wizard? I'm s I thought you didn't want lizard wizard. Uh oh. I relied on you. We're a team. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll concentrate. Do 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 do. do. Miss a lot of these because I'm bad and I don't know my hitboxes. Boo boo boo. <laughs> it's hard to drive swordfish because they don't have any wheels or roads. I think I think I think you're a little. It's a little off key, but you know what? I, I, I appreciate the gusto. I'm not a singer. I like music. I'm not a singer. <laughs> or a songwriter. Or a musician at all. Or a music. Well, what even is music? Is it like noises or like... It's amazing how many musicians exist that aren't able to read sheet music. And like, we had music class growing up, and I can read sheet music relatively fine. And uh, I have absolutely zero musical talent. Oh, I was going to say, where's your fucking platter record, buddy? So I think that's actually, uh, if you okay. learn music and sheet music, uh, you have fucked yourself from a career of music, apparently. <laughs> well, that's because people that read uh, sheet music are nerds. Uh, yeah, and, you're uh, right. <laughs> Musicians are cool. Yeah, let's be honest here. I need one musician who isn't cool. Uh, it's ooh. not hard, let me tell you. Uh, mm, <laughs> mm. I was gonna piss off a lot of people with my gut instinct of saying Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's kind of a joke he's right kind now. Of a, he's kind yeah. of a weirdo. Like he, even for people that like him, I'm pretty sure he's just like, what about what what what, what happened with all that God stuff? <laughs> yeah, right. Like he's <laughs> look, the guy fucking produces bangers. I can't I can't deny his talent, but at the same time, 
I do recall the time when he was yelling at a guy to stand up at a concert because everybody else was and he wasn't, and then found out that he was crippled. And then didn't really apologize. Also, yeah, the whole calling himself God. <laughs> Being fair, there's a fine line between being likable celebrity and not likable celebrity because everyone has narcissism because everyone fucking loves you. Maybe that's when he learned he couldn't call himself God because he was trying to command the handicapped to walk again. It just didn't work. <laughs> so you don't command, you help. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the problem. Remember, there's one more coming. <laughs> yes. Boy. Boy. Yeah. I don't feel I can do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't have enough. <laughs> I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> Be <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> yes, Peter. That's what that was. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I'm actually scared of this man. I'm just. Oh, yeah. I'm just. No, no. That's call. I don't know what I was gonna do with that. Be. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm kind of glad I never had to def uh, dissect a frog. Dissect. Dissect a frog when I was in uh, the bio. I did a shark, though. You did a shark? I did a shark. Wow, I how was fucked it? fucked the shark to death. <laughs> I was gonna say, like... I'm not already dead. And then but... I dissected it. <laughs> Ooh. Fuck. How? Uh, the, the... Winky, no! <laughs> no, not... Oh, right, he is winky. <laughs> not uh, co collision detection awful. Uh, uh, bad game, trash game. Garbage. Yeah, who, trash. Even, who, who plays this game? <laughs> Justin Wong. <laughs> <laughs> Episode comes out, Justin Wong's like, what, 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 what the fuck? What's happening with you guys? <laughs> Fuckies! <laughs> Couldn't even dodge uh, a bee, like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. I love the sound effects. See, I, I, my favorite thing to do would be to make a fake internet beef with the first person that wants it. I mean, it's, it, we've called out Justin along a lot, and I feel like, uh, if he, if he's not into it, and also we explained the joke, so, like, now, now he's not, he's gonna be like, oh, these guys just want, want attention. Pretty much. What but if he wants attention? I don't think he needs it. <laughs> I don't know. What if he's just like, what if we were just massively underestimating Justin Wong's narcissism? Uh, calling you out, Justin Wong! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me! No! <laughs> yeah, but you couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just I love the idea of having a really dumb uh, feud with somebody inconsequential. Like, it doesn't even have to be anybody. Yeah, here, that's just really. no longer inconsequential. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> right, and I just, like, I, I want to have a new feud every so often with, like, random people. Like, I, it's not even, like... Just for clout. I, like, I would like us to get on the shit end of something. Like, I want them to be completely in the right and us completely in the wrong. Well, we're just, like, dying on that but, hill oh, that oh, we've made, yeah. A thousand percent. Like, that, <laughs> that grave is dug at the top of a hill, so we both built that hill and dug our grave at the same time. We gotta be careful on that, because some people would be like, I get the joke, but... Like one of these days, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm a, I'm pro woman, and I'm like, well, now we have to argue against it. Exactly. If it's joke. Yeah, like, <laughs> actually, women don't exist on the internet, so like, uh, they can't even fuck me. <laughs> I mean, true, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would just love to double down on being completely incorrect about something in order to have a Twitter spat. I do that all the fucking time. I know you do. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. So it's right up your cadre of uh, capabilities. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be the worst part about this, let's be honest here. I'm gonna be like, alright, cool, we can cut it now. And you're like, no, no, fucking T-Pain and I are not done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish T-Pain would respond to this. <laughs> yeah, I watched these uh, these idiots play uh, Donkey Kong Country, and I got a real... I got a, I, I, I have some passion that I need to share yeah, with I got them. Yeah, I got some words to speak to them. And I'm going to do it <laughs> in song form. <gasps> then we have to do it in song form? Oh, God. Fuck me. And we, we have to counter-wrap T-Pain? I give up immediately. You know what? This is a whole bad idea. T-Pain, I mean, you're a fucking god. I love you. <laughs> well... Now Justin Wong responds. Hold on, this was this was for a joke. If Justin Wong responds, responds. Now I'm uh, my brain just stopped working. I've short circuited. I want him to make a vlog respond channel called Responds. Responds. Justin Wong responds. <laughs> anyway, now if he wants to cancel the beef, he just brings T Pain into it. Like that's our trump card, right? Ah shit. But we'd get so much clout, dude. Maybe. Maybe that's just... I'm not even in it for the clout. I just think it'd be hilarious to fight with T Pain for no reason. It'd be funny, but it'd also like be like, man, those guys argued with T Pain about what? I don't fucking know. Cats, <laughs> cat buttholes. It was weird. 
<laughs> like they were really pro butthole. I was, gonna say, I was like, they're into the food. <laughs> I never actually like purposely stare in, but have you ever like looked at one? <laughs> I'd, li I'd like to think like we're the last fleet on Twitter as they get removed them, and it's just like us for ages, like back to back fleets talking about uh, like where where does the line draw on butthole of like cat girl? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, I would love to do Pokemon at some point. I um... oh, I think we'd get a little heated actually. I have some. Non, I, 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 I have things to say about Pokemans. <laughs> That's concerning. Not like anything like racy or anything that I've said during this entire playthrough. Because let's be honest here, my commentary's been garbage. So far. <laughs> Either that or it's garbage, but it's comedic gold to one specific demographic. And I feel like we've hit that one demographic peak for the last few recordings. No, that's all we're we're pandering to now at that point. Um, it's just more like. Honestly, it's just fan base talk again. I'm like, people that bitch about particular fan bases really ruin it for me, and really it's my fault for paying attention to them. True. Yeah. Like, as I mentioned, the Undertale fan base ruined Undertale for me, and it's like, I unironically liked uh, certain series discussing, like, specific video games, but as soon as that came out and, like, started festering amongst, like, the fan base and, like, it became more and more obvious about what the secrets were and all the fucking fan theories came out. That's when the people who made Naruto AMVs back in the day on Ironic. Oh my god, you're right. Started. Yeah. It's like, the exact same people. Effectively, yeah. It's like, oh man, Sasuke's so deep because I put like I'm gonna I'm gonna put lyrics to it. And let's, let's be honest here. Sasuke was not a good character. <laughs> <laughs> Sasuke was meant for one demographic, and that's... E well, two, actually. There hot the ones Topic Girls. Yeah, Hot Topic Girls and dudes that took it way too seriously. Yeah. And I'm fine with taking shit like that seriously. Like, if I was, like... I, I, I could sit down and analyze the, uh, you know, the, the tropes in, like, Dragon Ball Z and, like, oh, was it cool when Trucks came out and did blah, 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 or, like, when Gohan became Super Saiyan 2, like, I was so sick and, like, it was, like, a growing moment. But when you were, like, um, yeah, but, uh... Technically, uh, Goku could have done that. Uh, <laughs> th that's when you ruin everything for yeah, me. Yeah, no, that's when I actually, like, just can't. Like, I'm... So, I... Big... Um, I, it's it's going to be ironic. Uh, but I used to be a big fan of Total Biscuit. Rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, great soul. But his, fa his, his, his tagline was, All fanboys must die. And I was like, that seems pretty harsh. And then I started looking into fandoms at one point and go, Oh, yeah. All fandoms kind of suck. They don't need to, is the problem. But they all fucking do. Anyway, yeah, fandoms, they kind of suck. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Again, like, I'm all for, if someone said, like, hey, I'm a big fan of this one particular IP, but we also want to congregate for other people that really like the fandom, that really turns into a circle jerk immediately. Yeah. Like, now there's no faults, and you can't have an intelligent discussion about it. And I'm a big fan of unintelligent discussions, but in earnest. Not like in like, oh, by the way, I think uh, that the canonical power level is a real conversation I saw happening on like Twitter and on Reddit. Uh, the canonical power level of uh, Super Saiyan God Goku is a lot stronger than, uh, say, Android 16. So why are they having trouble fighting him in the video game? I'm like, do you, do you like fun? <laughs> like, do you actually <laughs> like the series? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, um, I... Like when we were driving here today, there were a th there was a bunch of like concrete uh, like like b b what are they called blocks not blocks but like they're they're concrete something Worth barricades barricades there we go okay uh, still it began with B and my brain just started melting <laughs> I mean bees you know yeah right yeah. bees 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 <gasps> uh, and so yeah there were a whole bunch of teenagers hanging around these blocks and I was like that's weird I don't get what like it doesn't make any sense they've it's at like this abandoned lot, which kind of makes sense, but it's like right off the like the main drag. Nobody hangs out there. This is the first time I've ever seen anybody hanging out there, and it was like eight or nine teens, 
all around a bunch of concrete blocks that had spray painted on it, Jesus died for your sins too. And I... He goes all the way up. Yeah, Jesus did go all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, go for it. <laughs> He went, Jesus! He went all the way up for your save file. <laughs> uh, Christ is the original memory card. All right. Uh, <laughs> the only achievement you'll get is, uh, you know, uh, life in life in heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fulfillment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just just it was just weird to see that place never populated, and then suddenly there's a whole bunch of teenagers hanging around. And Jesus died for your sins too, sign. You got this. You got this. No fear. No fear. All fear. Fear's the mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All fear. No breaks. <laughs> just go in, but you're screaming the entire. Please, please. <laughs> Your man gets stuck at one phase of the uh, acceptance. He's he's stuck at bargaining for the rest of his life. <laughs> that beaver was my god oh, for a second. Oh my <laughs> lord! Here you go. You got this. No fear. <laughs> All fear. We've discussed this. Like some fear. Some fear is reasonable. <laughs> it's a survival instinct. I get it. All right. All right. No more bargaining. All <laughs> gas. 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 Oh, holy! Step on the gas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the uh, this is the time of the day where I'm just I'm just on. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, go to help! <laughs> like, the guy is actually murdering me right now. It's just a beaver to wheel, dude. Oh my god! Ah, fuck. Oh, you're supposed to jump on the boys to go. Oh, up the, the boys! The boys! Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Something our friend Nathan has pointed out to me is that I use boy to as a noun. Right? Yeah. An omni noun. Yeah. Yeah. If you're if you're anything that I like am affectionate about, uh, you're a boy. Yeah. Like, yo, it's my boy. Or like, I call inanimate objects boys. Yeah. I call my girlfriend boys. Yeah. <laughs> Gender means fucking nothing anymore. Just don't like who fucking cares. Yo, you're my boy. And it's just like you're my bud. Like, Honestly, I, I I feel like bud's more offensive than boy nowadays. <laughs> I could also feign, like, uh, heritage as well, because I, I, I know a lot of Newfoundlanders, and I could pick up an accent real quick, uh, including my own <laughs> family, so I don't know why you even mentioned that, because it's <laughs> part of my heritage. Uh, but, like, they, they, they do the bye. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just remove one letter, and that's that's their address for everybody. Yes, yeah, bye. Did it. Super smart, super cool. Ton of friends. It's kind of like people that get angry about, like, hey, call it him dude. Dude is an omni term for me. Yeah, right. Like it's 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 no longer like ever since like oh dude like dude and do that like they're they're the same word effectively. Like if you say dude, it's person I uh, it's person that I um empathize and respect and will talk to. You know? Yeah. Dude. Dude. Bruh. You're on my level yeah. is the thing. And I just I don't know, I, I, I just stopped caring really fast like <laughs> I mean, me either. It only really like sends uh, sends the the memory brain down uh, memory lane. A bars. Hey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dope the mean on the Dope track. Dope the mean. What? what? <laughs> Yo, hope you're having a good day. <laughs> Cross the gender ne <laughs> gender normity. <laughs> Yo, if you're a girl, you're still a badass dude. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> fuck what was i saying uh the only reason why it like brings it up is because like i i read a lot of dumb internet shit what and like the the number one complaints about like social shit is like don't call me dude i'm not a dude and i'm like i'm pretty sure you're a dude you're dude but i mean you're quickly <laughs> not becoming a dude because you're complaining about it <laughs> yeah. and you're honestly being kind of a bitch but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely reduce your dude dude yeah your dude dude <laughs> my dude dude <laughs> towards you is poor yeah, right now I can understand that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also, bars. <laughs> it's my one and only diss track, and really it was forced. 
Like, honestly, like, it sold well, but, like, he, his heart wasn't in it. It was weird. It did really well in Indonesia. <laughs> what the fuck was that statement? I don't know. Was, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of, a we, like, a country that you wouldn't expect to do well in uh, as a as a rapper. <laughs> as a... Fuck. But, yeah, okay. As a compliment rapper as yeah, well. All right, right? Fair enough. Yeah. There was no disrespect to Indonesia. <sighs> Done with this. Chris has the controller now. I don't want it. I'm going to have some Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, in my drinking of of sodas back in the day, I cannot, I, I could never do Mountain Dew. That one just hurt. Now, being fair, it's a weird sensation drinking Mountain Dew. Yeah, I shouldn't have a weird sensation when drinking anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point of carbonation, dude. It was a weird sensation when it came out. That is true. Yeah, like you, right, know, you know what? You think people are like, oh man, non-carbonated? Oh fuck me. Good job. Non-carbonated drinks? Too boring. I need something. No, they were more so stepping it up. That's a good question. Do Bert eat Nan? Well, I guess it's my turn to Google. Yep, Google me. Don't Google me, though. You'll, you won't like what you find. Do Bert eat <laughs> Grandma, no! <laughs> <laughs> You're just thinking about the Castlevania series? <laughs> Still think of that and laugh. <laughs> Fuck! Man, my grandma would be fucking pissed. <laughs> fucking get through this level. I trusted you. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> oh fuck! <clears throat> Birds, banana though. Fruits without seeds like berries, raisins, grapes, and mashed bananas can all be offered to birds at your bird table. You have a bird table. I got a bird table. Yeah, now. If right, you have cool. birds. You have a bird table. Naturally, they'll love them. The table or, or the bananas? They just said that. What is my center? What, what is the centerpiece on a bird table? I guess the bird? Hmm. Ornithopia? Hmm. <laughs> Stuffed vulture? Ooh, oh, there you go. <laughs> there you know, go. Know your place. <laughs> trash. <laughs> just call your fucking pet bird trash. <laughs> what if he picks it up? It's like a parrot's like, know your place, trash. <laughs> You just, you just have a very depressed parrot, but it doesn't know that it's depressed. It just keeps saying a whole bunch of awful things. You're like, is is your bird okay? Can we just teach it the entirety of, like, Fucking... early Filthy Frank? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to stop. <laughs> Where are your parents? Oh, my God. All right. Well, like, we can fuck. We just, we, we can fuck right off. Can we? Yeah, we can. We're allowed. That's our channel. We can do what we want. I can cry if I want to. <laughs> if your friends behind, because if your friends don't cry, and if they don't cry, well, they're probably more emotionally stable than I am. They probably had a dad. I had a dad. I don't have to cry. Oh, nice. <laughs> Fucking a, buddy. <laughs> I'm about to call you a pussy. <laughs> 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 Next time on Loot Lads. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know how I can recover from that one. <laughs> I don't know why you went back on that guy. I've, I have a vendetta. <laughs> I have strong feelings about him. Ooh, jumping man! <laughs> oh, what the second <laughs> one go? Excuse me? <laughs> you juking me, bud? Oh my god, you got, you got you baited. Actually got you baited. I'm so mad. I play, <laughs> I play Tekken, alright? I should pro Actually, no, I do this exact same shit on Tekken. Never mm -hmm. mind. If there's a jumpy man in Tekken, I'd lose 100% of the time. Can we can we talk about the rage you got? <laughs> sure, why not? So, uh, I play, in Tekken, a controversial character. Her name is Lucky Chloe. Lucky! Lucky! She is annoying. But annoying in the way that, like, she just doesn't really play Tekken at all. She plays her own game. And uh, I played against the pretty much the precursor of Lucky Chloe. Like, <laughs> I played a Zhao Ling. Or a Zhao Ling? Yes, that's the one. Thank you. Um, or Zhao Ling? Both characters are... Careful. Jumpy boy. Yeah, yeah. I said careful. But I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are both uh, jumpy, 
spinny, dodger attacks type of characters. And that salts some people. Well, I would say, arguably, the salt is justified, considering, like, those characters just don't play by the same rules as everyone else. But this man just <laughs> did not enjoy My Lucky Chloe playing against Zhao Ling. So we were both, um, God damn it. We were both flippy, annoying characters. I knew I was going to die. I just needed to just jump on the other Just your fate. One. Yeah. Um, both flippy characters both dodge each other's attacks. Um, and unfortunately, I knew the matchup better than they did. So I beat them almost exclusively. Like, it didn't even go to, like, round five a lot of the time. It's it's best to... Best, first to three. Yeah, first to three games. And usually, like, round five is when the shit happens because you're both, like, two games up and the next one wins. Um, so this man, after our series of games, we played, like, I would say I played about four to five games with him. I didn't know you played that many. Oh, I, yeah, we, we stuck around for the entire set. Um, he messaged me and, like, pretty much said, like, at first it was cordial, right? Like, he said, like, man, I absolutely detest Lucky Chloe. And I get that shit from my playgroup. So I was like, yeah, that's fair, man. Like, my playgroup also hates her. I'm <laughs> learning another character if it's any consolation. And, like, we had a, we had a chat. And then he's like, I would not stoop anywhere you low enough to, to play Lucky to Chloe. That level. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, come on, man. What's so wrong with Lucky Chloe? And he's like, every time you do the kick move, because she has a kick move. Everyone has a kick move. But she's very kicky. Where she climbs you like a set of stairs midair. It's awful to be like the go against because all I need is like one attack and you're in you're in the zone. Um, the auto zone. Yeah, the auto zone. And the secret about Tekken is some difficult inputs you can map the one button that you can mash so you never miss the input. <laughs> I told him that, and this guy either never. Nice. That's unfortunate. That's good. Oh, uh, bonus barrel. Uh, never thought about it before, or was entirely too pissed at me for letting him know that that's what I did. He went off the rails. He called <laughs> me a dick. He was like, man, imagine uh, not doing the input raw. Like, uh, if you do that, then you're just cheating, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't disagree with you, but it's an intended effect because there's an option to bind all of the buttons on one button in the game. I'm just going to ignore that I died there. Okay. So close to... I'm going to do that with my real life. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back to haunt you. <laughs> it's your boy. Ghost, <laughs> ghost boy. Anyway, um, so what started off as a cordial, I hate this character, let's discuss it, turn into you're cheating. Um, clearly, you do not care about fairness. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you do not care. I can't remember what flavor of Storm. I don't even know if it was Storm. But it was just a combo deck. What I know from you, when I picture MTG and I picture you, Magic I picture, the yeah, sorry, um, I picture commander decks that are very competitive, and also uh, command like. Oh! Replay that. Replay that shit. I um, I love squirrels. I love when my dog uh hated squirrels, back when I was um living further in the woods than I do now. Well, actually, it's about equal. Um, I We had like a... Did I mention this before? We had a trailer in front of our house. I don't think so. And uh, there was a guy who used to live there. He does, he, 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 he didn't after a while. He uh, he had to move. He was A, on our property, and B, came out wielding a gun one night. So... I mean, you don't need to pay your rent if your landlords are scared. True. I am also scared. Deep down. <laughs> that bee... Those bees, like, all right, we had the blue bee from Baja Blast, and we have the red bee here. Like, it, it's an intimidation bee. Like, you don't know what you're going to do when he comes at you. And in this case, you're coming at it. Oh, oh. oh thank God. Okay. I mean, okay, I, we knew it was going to be there, but my, my, my heart stopped for a hot second. I was legally dead. <laughs> There's a boy in front of your property, according yes. to the last topic. And uh, squirrels would like to run around on the roof constantly. And every time they had an acorn or some sort of pine cone or some sort of seed from a tree. Okay. Uh, oh, fuck. No! <laughs> uh, they would rain that shit down on my German Shepherd. And she would... No! You had it! I know! You overcompensated. I did. Uh, 
they would rain that shit down on her constantly, and she would lose her goddamn little puppy mind. <laughs> I watched my cats murder squirrels. Oh no. Murder birds. Oh no. Dig moles out from their holes. Oh no. I have this one cat, a uh, black cat, which kind of honestly says a lot about him. Um, okay, he was well. The, he, he, first of all, when, oh, motherfucker, in I a missed superstitious this way, uh, black cats, bad luck, juju, which is familiar, whatever. They're the classic. Uh, he was a fucking demon, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> Lovely cat. He, he learned to communicate with us very fast. If he wanted something, headbutts. Gentle headbutts, not like I'm going to ram you at Mach 6 headbutts. Um, he also was definitely the hunter of the group because he was the aforementioned mole killer. Mm. Disappeared one day. Let oh, him out no. for the night because they were indoor outdoor cats. We were uh, not in the city then. Um, just didn't come out of the brush one day. I'm pretty sure if you're standing on yep. that, you could just duck under it. Oh, yeah. Um, I just thought I hit the rubber. And he was such a hunty cat. I assume either he went on the greatest expedition he could. Or that boy picked on something that was five sizes higher than him, than he, like, higher than his category. I'm talking about, like, if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, you're fighting a Challenger rating six at level two <laughs> <laughs> alone. Um, or if you're a normal person, uh, that's like fighting Conor McGregor and being yourself. Are you sure that's normal people talk? So anyway, the cat. Oh, yeah, cat. Oh, that, I mean, that was kind of the end of the story, and then I trailed off on, like, McGregor. <laughs> Uh, disappeared. We, we are either sure that he lived on to be, like, a big game hunter. Like, loading his elephant rifle and, like, taking down the wildebeests. Uh -huh. Um, or just fought, like, a, a coyote or something. Oh, so the cat never came back. No. Oh. <laughs> Went out, never came back. Oh, no. We lived with the expectation that that man, man being cat, <laughs> <laughs> uh, was out there just fighting animals that are bigger than him. Which honestly, admirable. <laughs> I would I'd assume that that cat was so proficient in killing things that he could have at least fought someone one size category above him. Like, if if he was if he was lightweight, he'd probably take down at least one heavyweight. But if you do that multiple times, you're probably going to lose, and you're going to lose in such a fantastic fashion that you're not going to be fighting uh, lightweights anymore. <laughs> Like, I, I, I do enjoy the punching up, <laughs> but occasionally you're just going to have to job for one of them, right? That's like, true. That's true. Remembering but, things is just bad. Don't worry about it. Yeah. The, yeah. the internet is a crazy gosh dang place. And uh, I think that, you know, um, this next generation coming up is going to have a fucking wild time with it. Like, I, I had a, a chat with it before um, on, uh, on, on my Discord and with um, somebody at work. Where we were, we, we're the last generation that, like, we grew up without internet at some point. Yes. We are the last people that was like, oh boy, can't wait to get home and go on the internet. And, like, beep, boop, boop, beom, beom, to internet. Yeah, when it sounded <laughs> futuristic. Yeah, <laughs> right? Like, that was cool. That was that was the internet to us growing up, and it's like, all right, well, this yeah, did feel old. I know, but, like, I, I didn't even really get... I, I didn't, I don't think I turned on the internet until it was like six or seven or something like that at my grandfather's place. At some point I owned a Blackberry, but the Blackberry where the keyboard is baked into it. Yeah. Yeah, like that, that's a fucked up memory because as soon as I got a smartphone, I'm like, fuck dude, this is a lot better. <laughs> like not only do I have apps now, but like you're telling me not only can I play Bejeweled with my fingies, but also, oh, don't, fair, fair enough. You're going to alert me of my emails in a more intuitive way than just pinging me for dear life. Like, <laughs> oh, oh boy, no. why did it slow down? Asshole. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's crazy to think about. It makes me feel old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. I so, didn't want to go too far. <laughs> because, like, yeah, growing up, it was we go to school or something, and then we get home, and then we can, like, play on, on the, the PlayStation or whatever ps2 yeah. was out at 2000 so yeah it was eight when i had one um and that was still like that was cool that was neat you know I get, I get to go home and enjoy some sort of entertainment that i get to control yeah neat uh and then it became the internet and i was like oh that's super neat i like that and then the internet became oh i can do online gaming that's super neat 
I like all these things. Yeah. And now, um, like, I still see it kind of as a, a tool. The fact that I have a phone that I can, ooh, uh, I don't know why I jumped, to be honest, access every bit of information in the palm of my hand at any moment at, like, light speed is absolutely crazy to me because yeah. I'm still used to, in my brain, going, yeah, I, um, I need to wait to get home to get that. Yeah. Or, it's, it's very scary in the fact that uh, technology is only speeding up. So mm -hmm. when we're old gray and we're like, I remember when like you had like flip phones and shit, and like I remember when the cell phone just came out with the touch screen and the and the, and the Googles yeah. and like, and then all of a sudden it's gonna be like there's gonna be a generation shift of oh well that's unfortunate, <laughs> a generation shift of like yeah I can just uh, neurotranslate uh, Google into my brain, so like if you need to Google I just need to think about it. Yeah. There's there's the Wikipedia page. Like, it's, it's fucked up to think about, and it's going to be scary for a lot of people, including me, because mortality is real. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, the next generation, I'm actually... See, see, see. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely good. I, I I do see that, like, you know, they, they their entire culture... Honestly, I'm, I'm for it. Like, I might be out of touch now and old and y all that fun stuff, but goddamn, A, their content is just... Mwah. Yeah. Some of that shit that they're putting out is excellent. You know what? Keep that up. Love it. You get your, you get yours. It's excellent. I'm happy for you. I got scared. You got rained on. Yeah. Um, but because they're growing up with instant communication at any point, they're growing up with like the ability to talk to anybody with any different viewpoint at like any different culture, any different like all this. You gotta press the jump button. Which button is the jump button? Uh, I think it's. Uh... <laughs> I just wanted to knock it into your hand, <laughs> but I, I don't want to break my controller. Uh, and yeah, and like I, I'm honestly, I, it makes me a little warm in the heart that like this whole generation is gonna have this like lack of divide in in culture because they just they grew up with no barriers between countries in the fact that you could just communicate with anybody from anywhere at any time. I mean, the internet itself is just the culture. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there is a time in which Rick Astley was never in our mind. <laughs> <laughs> which is a shame, because the two songs that he made, pretty good. Fuck me. You, kn you knew. You knew. Play the fucking game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Devin Tan. Ah, the fish bullet hell. Yep. Why is that guy going so fast? I don't. That's the thing too. They're varying. They're varying speeds. Like that one's slow. That one's medium. And then there's a fast boy. I'm so intimidated. No! Scared <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, he followed you, dude. He wanted your blood. Uh. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> No! No! Why is there fish and wheels? Oh! <sighs> Fuck! You can't. Oh my god! This game is cruel. Momentum also carries very weirdly. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Skill. Skill-based game. All right. Oh well, I don't know why I praise. Oh, oh! But there is a swordfish there. So I got scared. You, this is new mechanics. How you been? It's I been, have. It's been a, uh, a while for us. Uh, for you, it's been probably day or I don't know. It depends on when those are going up. Because I do. I do. Are we doing this daily? I think we need to record a lot more if it's daily. Well, it's not daily, but like it's, it's it, it definitely hasn't been like week. Wait, oh, unless. so we're addressing the binge watchers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah the yeah. only ones I care about, right? <laughs> That's where you get all the monetary stuff. Exactly. Because like it's it's not the fact that like we'll get any sort of metric in the first week. It's everyone who comes in, like, years later to be like, These guys are funny, why aren't they recording anymore? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to them? Just, like, looking up police reports. <laughs> I, uh... How bold of you to assume <laughs> that I'd get caught. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... I Fuck me! <laughs> I really like the idea. Beard's playing, not me. Uh, um... <laughs> Just put that out there. Weird. I don't know. I don't know why. So oh, I wow, felt, wow. I felt the and you wonder why I'm it. not getting caught. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I sell you out the moment I get a chance. Uh, I I find it wild that there is um, somebody that we both know 
Um, we're not, like I wouldn't say they're our best friends. Uh, sorry now if you think that uh, you're our best friend because now now it's just yeah. All we of, give all of our best friends badges. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> if you don't have a badge and you're listening to this and you think that we're best friends, sorry, Bucko. <laughs> just reevaluate. <laughs> just make a lot of like jingling badge noises. <laughs> Um, yeah, little did you know, like, we play poorly because we hold hands through every recording session. <laughs> Sometimes we smooch, but we mute, so. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, so uh, if there's ever a swap to silence, you know what it's about. <laughs> just furious unbuckling sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted by your unbuckling. <laughs> As you should. How does it reach the desk? We're like a good three feet. <laughs> Very skinny, though. <laughs> I call it the needle. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck like a sewing machine. <laughs> uh, oh, I should have said Miramasa, but fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> My cock forged by Hattori Hanzo himself. <laughs> oh, uh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Gilgamesh seeketh his cock. <laughs> he seeketh the cock. He seeketh the cock. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, if you look at my Twitter, I one thing I do every so often is harass brands. Because the worst that happens is I get blocked. And the best that happens is, well, they give me free shit. Um, I have, at this point, and uh, probably for the next foreseeable future, very little following. Um, however, that will not stop me from just randomly feeling like, you know what, we're going to tweet at Monster Canada today for some reason. Eh, you know what, we're just gonna tweet at, um, uh, Audible, or we're gonna tweet at, uh, uh, um, what's the earbud one? Raycon. Yep. So I'll just, I'll just keep doing that every so often. And, uh... Oh. It went dark, according to see. So, uh, yeah, there was one, one day where I was like, you know what, we, we were talking about shoes in, in, uh, in, in the community, and... I just, at the end of it, I decided to, you know, put the, the Vessi tagline in, because I see Vessi make their fucking comments in a whole bunch of videos. And uh, it's like, hey, shoe, get by, buy shoe. Like, all right, well, you know, haha joke, make, make, make shoe joke, move on. And then, of course, naturally, my next th thought is, gotta harass the brands, gotta harass the brands. So we go on Twitter, we harass the brands, and they fire back uh, with, with an immediate, like, Oh, well, this escalated quickly. And as I was firing off the brands at Vessi, I tweeted also at um, at Monster being like, look, if Vessi doesn't give me shoes, Monster, I'll cut cans. I'll cut cans and wear them <laughs> as shoes if that's necessary for you. Like, whatever gets me noticed by Senpai at this point, right? <laughs> just just give me something. And uh, so I, I the first one was to Vessi, and then I added myself. So Vessi got the tag of, of the Monster one as well, and I'm sorry. Uh, but... Uh, the, the tweet after that was, this escalated quickly from the Vessi guys. And I was like, huh, they saw me. Interesting. So my dumb lizard brain goes, I need to make a joke where I cut the cans and put them on my feet. Yep. So I did that, posted it, sliced my foot up a little bit in the process. Oh my god! <laughs> Rave! <laughs> oh, cog. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, they, they, they fire back after that with, uh, we were going to say make shoes out of recycled material, but uh, you already did it for us, so... Uh, yeah, here's a code for free shoes. <laughs> I mean, shit, dude. <laughs> Go save. But it's the boss. All right, I have to save. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Go, don't, don't trust yourself. So, yeah, I, um, at the time of this, the shoes have still not shipped, but I, uh, I harassed the brands and got shoe. Uh, does that, that does not mean everybody should harass the brand, but honestly, just like, you know, they're it's brands. a little bit of a harassment. They're a brand. It's a little bit of harassment. Um... I spent three days talking to the Vessi guy through Twitter, though. Because, <laughs> like, they're they're West Coast Canada. And uh, West Coast Canada, as of recording this, is pretty much just entirely on fire. I forgot one of the bosses was just a giant barrel. Yeah, with enemies. And, uh... Snakes. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, it's been, it's been an interesting couple of days. But yeah, people eating shit. Nice. I assume I ate a lot of shit. I the only vivid memory I have uh, where I did eat shit or needed to be like looked at medically was um, you getting smacked with a with a rusty beam. I'm oh, sorry, what? Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> a, a rusty a rusty beam. Yeah, because okay, uh, cool. we found one in the backyard. Okay, and, of course, uh, as you we, do. We are anime swordsmen because we are we oh, were hype on the no. Dragon Ball, you know. And you know, Future Trunks is a really cool character. <laughs> So we just decked each other with rusty beams, and we didn't really understand the uh, the immediate danger, really. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, how's your shots right now? <laughs> you up to date? <laughs> I'm good. It's <laughs> it did kind of affect me uh, <laughs> a little bit. Oh, that just points <laughs> down. Mm. I thought it would like put me on something where I could just wait for the platform. Mm, nay, nay. Fair enough. This is this is my life now. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, it didn't really affect me in any particularly bad way. Though uh, one of my earlobes is differently shaped than the <laughs> other one. <laughs> Although the lockjaw hurts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can actually feel the rust in my blood to this day, but I think I'm good. It's a bit of iron, you know. Yeah. yeah. Put some hair on your chest or whatever. <laughs> Lord. Uh, other than that, I, uh, I, I think from that moment on, I was like, maybe we shouldn't be dumb. <laughs> <laughs> and then I continued to be dumb. Continued to, this to be day. dumb until, yeah. yeah, until like near thirty. I, I mean, I've definitely done dumb, st dumb stuff as a kid. I, uh, I, I wounded myself horribly by thinking I could be an explosives master. I was not. <laughs> I mean, that's fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I, I, on my face. Uh, the, uh, aside from the ugly, is the, uh, scars underneath my, on the left side of my lip. Yeah. That I took by eating shit, and by the shit, I mean a piano bench. I mean, that, yeah, that counts. Don't do that, by the way. Don't, uh, don't, A, don't die, stop that. But also, okay, don't, yeah, 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 don't yeah. eat piano bench. I mean, uh, it's not nutritious anyway. No, yeah. no. We, uh, our school had a gym class. And it was also the music classroom. So you can see how these two might, uh... <laughs> <laughs> might have met up. Might kind of <laughs> had, a little, had a little collision course, if it, one <laughs> oh, might I say. Oh, I piano bench. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know how I got these scars? It's not an interesting tale. <laughs> piano and, uh, music in the back. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the music thing. <laughs> I... Yeah, we were playing dodgeball. And... No. Uh, uh, you probably could have got that if you rolled. That's true. I think it's a little too high, actually. I think you're a little too high. I did not do anything today, sir. <laughs> Unless you count coffee high as a thing. I, I do. No. That's the euphoria it's still a I feel for actually being alive. Anyway, it was yeah, dodgeball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, yeah, there, the, the situation was, if you got hit, you walk to the other side, and if you catch the ball, you get to come back. Yeah. So I did a heroic catch. To not have the person behind me get the ball, so they could they could go back to their team, and uh, that way I could keep them eliminated, and I'd be I'd be excellent, I'd be such a good good player. Oh my god! And uh, yeah, I fucking I I caught it, and then I kept going. Caught it in the gobs. Caught it in like. the gobs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Immediately, the next thing I I was like, I got the soft, weird green orb. I was like, sick. Uh, why does my face hurt, and why can I put my tongue through it? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, that sucked. We call not kosher. And then I, um... Alright. Oh, I guess I didn't eat it. Alright, goodbye. Dios bio. Hey, oh, this is, <laughs> this is stressful. Yeah, I don't like this. And, uh, I remember I had to, you know, obviously get the, get the stitches. Fuck. Because I was the bitches. Yeah, I also need stitches, because I am... The also the bitches <laughs> but i i we went to like two or three doctors or something like that and yeah. they just would not properly treat us as in me and my mother because my mother's there frantic as her child is bleeding all over the place from a face wound <laughs> and uh i the doctor i finally went to i am surprised i'm not deathly afraid of needles because she fucking sucked <laughs> she was just a big syringe <laughs> <laughs> That. Called comedy, my guy. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> no, uh, you don't need the thing. I know, but it's just nice to have once in a while. <laughs> it's a friend, like Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she um she tried to she tried to numb my face to insert the stitches and missed three times. Ooh. So uh, I got a lot of Novocaine in the face, and it never ever seemed to work. That's unfortunate. And then they're like, "All right, well, time to do stitches," and I'm like, "Oh, cool, great." And I'm like, pre pre to that, I was crying in the bathroom, like terrified to get work done on me, because I'm like, oh my god, I, this is it, I'm ruined, life is pain, every just kill me now. I'm, I'm now the equivalent of Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm <laughs> I'm seven years old and my life is over, <laughs> and uh, that was a very harrowing experience. And yeah, I, I got stabbed five or six times before she ended up like really doing the work. All right, cool oh, boy. I got scared. Oh, oh. Oh.
So yeah, I was uh, I wasn't the brightest kid growing up. I'm not bright now. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, let, you put let it that alone. Way. Yeah, let alone when I was younger. Fuck this guy. <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah, I exploded my hands at one point uh, on my way to <laughs> uh, right before our, my parents was like we're planning a trip to uh, Toronto. So uh, guess who was wounded the entire time in Toronto? <laughs> this guy, whose hands don't work. That was, was a little silly. Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> that fucking sucks, by the way. Because <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're gonna have a nice trip, and you're injured, and because you're injured, you're like, well, I don't want to spend my vacation in a hospital for my shit kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, luckily, I, uh, I I went to the hospital, and they just, they gauzed me up, gave me a shot of, um... What is the... Ray, Ray, not the rabies one. Uh, tetanus. They gave me my tetanus booster while I was there. Oh, very good. And uh, sounds like we needed it. <laughs> yeah. And then I moved on. Oh, you you talking about the um, the rusty beams reminded me. The uh, there was a house in front of my in, in my front yard before. Yep. And uh, after it's a demolition, we found a oh. Fucking god! I, didn't right, think I thought there was, that was a little I, bit higher. I, as well. I also didn't think there were two. My brain did not register two. Me neither. Uh, but we found a, a fire extinguisher. Ooh. And I was like, ooh, ooh, let's have fun with that. Uh, it oh. was mostly dead. Okay. But it still shot air out. And so I was like, oh, sick. We can use this to launch stuff. That seems fun. I'm six years old, seven years old or something. That sounds like the greatest idea ever. <laughs> so I put a bottle cap in there and I shot and uh, it didn't move. What did come out, though, <laughs> oh, was, no. was tinnitus. Because <laughs> the sound that it like it immediately deafened me. Like if 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 you've been to a concert and you leave a concert and you know that like that sound that le that that's in your brain the entire time that yeah immediately like pfft, oh boy that sucked and I still remember to this day. It's like I wonder I wonder if that actually damaged anything. So I have relatively all right. Oh, 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 oh boy, what the fuck was that, dude? I have relatively all right hearing. But uh, I, I just fear that it really fucked me up without me knowing. Actually, I knew a Daniel and a Danielle who uh, dated each other. Ooh, and that that's, was that's, awful. Do yeah. they both say Dan during sex? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dan. <laughs> oh, Dan. <laughs> I love Dan. Oh, I love Dan, too. <gasps> Dan. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's a fetish somewhere. <laughs> oh, Lord. Wait, 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 wait. What was your ex's name? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> hold, hold the fucking phone here. Record scratch. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, the goddamn phone. Yup, that's me. And you're probably wondering how I got into this situation. <laughs> <laughs> you dated a Christina, didn't you? Yup. <laughs> and I did call her Chris a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god uh, I completely forgot her actual name I just remember her as the one that made the pyramid scheme Oh yeah, alright, well For gravity's for oh. sake uh, If we want to talk oh, about fuck. weird things about Beard um, I dated a girl once And it was getting a little rocky It just, it was very clear like Six months in, it wasn't working out So like we were getting to the stage she where... She was basically terminal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were getting to the stage where we were like, all right, we're probably going to break up. We just need to have that, you know, that discussion. Or uh, as as the, the kids might do when they're 12 and they don't want to admit that the girl they liked actually has icky cooties, uh, just <laughs> run away. Um, so... Let me set let me set up this yeah, particular thing. This is this here's the wild ride. Here's the thing: 100% breaking up literally the next week. I just wanted to talk to her and see how she was doing, because it was flu season, and that girl did not take the flu very well. I the last time I saw her, she was pretty much comatose the entire time. I'm like, all right, we're gonna let you go. I've been texting her throughout the week, and like all of a sudden the responses just stopped, and I was like. 
<laughs> Alright, it's a little weird. I actually need to legitimately see if she's okay. Like, I, I'm coming from a... I'm, I, I wouldn't call me, like, a 100%, like, Paragon-level person. You like, still had enough compassion to go, hey, yeah, this person that, even though we're pretty much breaking up or broken up at this point, like, it's was, concerning that you might be dead. There, wa there wasn't bad blood, is the problem. This, you this didn't was have a, problems. Yeah, there, there wasn't, like, a, a fact where I'm like, yeah, fuck this bitch. No, it was a... <laughs> All right, we're breaking up. It's not working out. I want to do it as civil as possible because it gets real ugly when people just fucking argue. So I'm like, I want to avoid confrontation. I just want to go, "Hey, are we cool?" No, very good. I'm <laughs> going to I'm going to, I'm going to seek out other options, for example. <laughs> hey, are you intubated? <laughs> <laughs> do you do you also get off when you call me Chris? Like I just want <laughs> Many questions here. <laughs> just, just as we're leaving this whole relationship, I got, I've got I, I so many. I just gotta know. Like, was it good for you as it was for me? Anyway, <laughs> um, text message just stopped, and I was like, "All right, I need to check." Fire up. Oh, we're almost done, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna also just make a note. We're definitely gonna go do some live farming. So continue your story, but we're, I'm moving to the live farming situation. All right, very good. Um, where was I? Texting stopped. So I went to go see her. No one was home, and I'm like, uh-oh, this is probably not a good sign. Uh, as it turns out, did not hear back from her, and could not find her for quite a while. <laughs> In fact, it was that was the last communication I've ever done with her, is go up to her apartment and try to ring her so that I can go see her. Um, did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> she was gone. So I was like, all right. We were already having this talk. We have no bad blood. I don't need to see her for any particular reason. So I guess we're just done. I guess we're just done. Yeah. And I was like, all right. I totally accepted. Um, she didn't even come to work is the problem because I also worked with her. Which oh, is, yeah. That's right. That's another thing. Yeah. <laughs> there's, like, there's so many layers of how did you let this happen to yourself, <laughs> sir? so fucking weird. And like we did back shifts. So we had a lot of time together. We were discussing video games. We were discussing like she was uh, from the time where we first met. She was like a cool person in my perspective because I was like, oh, I would really like someone to share my hobbies with. So, fuck, if I have a girlfriend to share my hobbies with, that's like twice- That's- that's the nerd dream right there, is You meet a girl gamer? Girl gamer? No girls are on the internet, you good girl gamer? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> could go on, but... Anyway, um... So, all of this culminated into a... She wasn't at work. I'm pretty sure she moved on from, uh... The- the, the, the night shit that we both, uh, worked to a day shift, which is, I mean, obviously fine. She had, she had other stuff going on. Um, and never saw her after that. In town. Oh, Six months later. Love this. <laughs> Love this. I get a random text message. We're both, we're both out playing cards. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. Okay. So this was also during like the big modern phase in our life when yeah, we're playing Magic the Gathering. So constantly. Every week we'd go to this card shop and we'd play Magic the Gathering. Way too much. Way too much. Honestly, I, I'm surprised we did it as much as we did. <laughs> With the amount of like salt that was being thrown around because I was a budget player and Devin was a combo player and oh boys, there was a lot of like <laughs> questionable opinions that we both had about the game. Uh, regardless of that. <laughs> um... Six months later, randomly, I was playing Goblins. I don't actually remember what I was playing at the time, but I was probably playing Goblins. That's uh, a very I, important part of the story. I, I get a text <laughs> message. You'll see why. Never. <laughs> <laughs> and it was my ex-girlfriend. And she was wondering how I was doing. Perfectly normal, adjusted shit that you would do to a random human being that you haven't spoken with in six months and i'm like i'm doing fine how are you doing like oh yeah you're still working at the place like i i, I left that place you know i that she, i didn't really interact with her i was night shift and she was day shift i'm like oh yeah that's cool i'm glad you moved on uh, where are you working and that was the catalyst uh -oh. <laughs> so the next thing that came out of her text message mouth was I'm trying to find this barrel before i move on yeah 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 um was a three paragraph sp spread among three messages diatribe <laughs> about how I should buy into this MLM. <laughs> it was incredible. She was trying to sell me so hard on the fact that I get a company vehicle. And I'm like, I do kind of like the car, but I don't. Th this is proven not to work. And I'm like, I didn't want to say anything to her because clearly something's gone wrong. Oh, yeah. In order at for this point. to happen. At this point, I was like, I'm going to leave well enough alone. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull a U for a hot second. 
and I'm just not Ooh, gonna fuck. dignify that with a response, because the entire message went from, oh, I might have to, I, I might want to reconnect with this person, you know, she was pretty cool when I dated her, and then, you know, she got weird, so it's whatever, to, by the way, uh, please buy into my scam so yep. I can, like, <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and I just, I I was in absolute awe of the audacity of that. Right? Like, every time I tell this story to anybody, it's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I'm like, it yeah, is. I know. Like, six months later, from absolute silence, never heard her again, never saw her again, to, by the way, I'm, I'm, just buy my scam. Just fucking buy my scam so that you can get a car that you also need to pay off. It's like, buddy... I do not know where this thing is. Uh, so you go to the uh, right, and you're bouncing on a tire, and then you just need to press jump again. Yeah. Ah! Oh, I got it! Oh, okay, Sick. it doesn't float, it just stays there. Um, so yeah, that's that's the extent of, like, not... My, my ex-girlfriend stories are a little wild. Yeah. The only... <laughs> the only girlfriend stories that actually have, like, a, a ending that is dignifiable is the first and current one. <laughs> <laughs> the first... The, the current one is hopefully not an ending. I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> we're, we're living with Charlie. We want to get property. But... <laughs> It's she good. I approve of this one. I, yeah. In fact, if I didn't approve of this one, it'd be very awkward because I, I, I made this happen. It's <laughs> fucking wild, the amount of shit that I'm like, man, I, I I have a lot of stories that I didn't expect to have on dating front because I'm like your typical nerd. I, I don't particularly talk with people and anyone who shows affection towards me, I just shut down. I just can't. <laughs> I want the f fuck do you people. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you say you like me? I don't understand those two words. <laughs> so, before uh, Chris and I were, like, friends, I was mostly friends with um, a another friend. We'll mention him from time to time and how much he's fucked us, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> are, we, are we telling the Tyler story? No, or no? Okay, it's just right. like, I was, I was more friends with him through work, and that's that's how I met you, because yeah. you were more friends with him, and like, oh, yeah, I got a friend that can DM some D&D, &D, and I was like, all right, cool, hi, guy. That man also just came to my house unannounced and was like, you were playing video games. I'm like, fucking, all right. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, is he your guardian angel? Maybe. <laughs> it explains why you left, but... <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your guardian angel? I joined the army or navy or whatever the fuck. The army. <laughs> He's gonna get mad at me if he hears this, and I don't know which one, because like they all get mad at each other. Because cool. Um, I mean, who considers themselves the guardian angel anyway? Healthy work environment. Very good. But yeah, I knew you as Chris for ages, and then uh, the one of the defining traits was. The fact that you had a relatively good beard. Yeah. It's awful now, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need to shave. COVID <laughs> keeps us unkempt and gross. Excellent. Uh, I am very unshaven and I can't make a beard. It's just gross, tattered, loose hairs on my face. I've needed a haircut for a while, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, we should go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, <laughs> can we get a combo deal? Uh, he gets the shave, I get the... <laughs> <laughs> Everything else, please. Just all the body. Whole body. Uh, but yeah, I, I did not know this person very well. Uh, nor did I know you very well, but at the time I was like, huh. Oh, yeah, it's just the boss fight. Oh, it's just the boss. Damn. Uh, you're... That's right. Yeah. Uh, I gotta wait for the crown to go away. And, uh, oh boy, I was not a fan of, uh, what, I'm, I'm not even gonna refer to her name. Um, <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it. <laughs> She's not listening to this. I'm probably not gonna be listening to this. <laughs> Our editor is going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm already... If, if our editor becomes our editor for any period of time, she knows. Yeah. We've had a good old discussion about that, because she's also had some wild relationship oh, stories, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, 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 knew, I knew Chris as a uh, guy with beard. Yeah. That's pretty much defining trait at that point, because I didn't have any friends with, like, an actual beard at the point. Uh, and then one day, he shows up, and he doesn't have his beard. I was like, what happened? And the words were, uh, not quite from you, because I think I got it from Tyler after the fact, saying, current girlfriend did not like my beard. And I was like, oh, big red fucking flag, homie. But I was at a place where I'm like, I don't know this guy enough to be like, hey, <laughs> hey. I don't know your let snitch, me, but Let like, me tell yeah. you how to live your relationship, but let me just, let me just geek right in there. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was the situation. I'm like, oh, that's not good. It's a little spicy. And when I said, like, do you think maybe someone should say something? They were all like, no. And I'm like, really? <laughs> nah? 
and like it got worse. Things, I mean, things yeah, got yeah. worse. It, the, the long story short, we did break up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the circumstances were not ideal. But no. <laughs> to keep private information private, oh boys, was it not ideal. Situation <laughs> bad. I watched situation be bad, and then friends of ours were like, nah, I'm going to go save it. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait for my car to be paid off and then I can be happy. <laughs> but um, I am debt boy. Yeah. My, and I also my, like hobbies. <laughs> Sick of it, others oh, also debt boy. That girl, that mm. boy. Boy, well, we've discussed this. Boy is multi gender yeah, for me. Yeah, no, gender doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> if right? you're my boy, you're a friend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nobody gives a fuck. I don't. Gender construct stupid. Call me whatever. I don't care. I mean, it's it's whatever. I think at this point it's just pedantic if you argue, but also that no, it's if you important go too to far the people in. that it's important to yeah, yeah. for a reason. And well, I, it's just kind of like again, we talk about shitty lore because it's important to us, but at the same time, this very real construct that you want to identify as the gender you want to identify, and people have a problem with that. It's like what the fuck? Seriously, like, it's not your business. <laughs> shut up. People buy Ferraris and shit because they want to be in the Ferrari club, and it's like. Oh, it passes the... Okay. Yeah, after you yeah. get through the lines. All right, that actually... Uh, Spray me a new one, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But it's like, if you shallow... Like, if you do that, that's that, that to me is pedantic. Like, why would I expect people that own cars to hang out with each other? Like, as far as you're, I'm concerned, you're a person. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're just human being number, like, 8 billion 322. Yeah. Um, and the only reason why I'm addressing you as such is because you want me to, so I'll at least do you that solid. Yeah, do... <laughs> That's why, like, growing up, it's like, you know, you know, treat people how, how you want to be treated. It's like, well, why don't I treat people how they want to be treated? <laughs> have you have you ever thought about that one? Well, I think the, uh, the the proper way to think about it is I want to be treated with respect, and if I want to be called the captain, by God, please call me the captain. Please call me the captain. Uh, I please, need this. I need this. It's my <laughs> self-esteem, dude. But, like, yeah, yeah, like, shit like that. Like, just, just be polite to people. <laughs> yeah, but, like, our... It, Totally. Whoa! At a left wing, we uh, uh, we are uh, s straight white guys mostly. Yeah. Um. And uh, we, of course, everybody should be treated good. But other people that are not us don't get treated good. So it's up to us to make sure that people are treated as they want to be treated, and not just so much how we want to be treated. Because how we want to be treated is a lot different than how people who need to be treated differently Supposed need to be mentality, treated. Yeah. yeah. I had a big discussion about that today, actually, with um, the also, Diversity also, Council. Yeah. Uh, so it also doesn't help that people are actually dying because they don't uh, they don't believe that people should be treated as people. It's <laughs> fucking wild, yeah. and I hate the world we live in. Like, dude, there's eight billion of us. Please, just like <laughs> give us the value that we kind of want, because <laughs> it's already kind of hard to feel valued in this system. Oh my god, right? Hooray, capitalism! Anyway, let's. Well, he jumped slow. Oh, yeah, he, he varies from fast to slow. It's a fuck-off situation. But yeah, that's if, if you ever wondered what our progressive stance is, it's just treat people better. Just treat people... Just treat people better. You think you're treating them well? Treat them better than that. Just treat people like people, and then your default for people is just it'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they need help, just give them help. Let, let people do whatever they want to do unless it starts infringing upon the right of others. Well, also that. I suppose yeah. there's caveats to that, yeah. Though, if you do shove a Glock in my hands, I will know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> one Glock, one address, one wink. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gifting them a Glock, duh. Like, <laughs> they have a license for it, and that's what the wink was for. <laughs> Tony Vajuti sends his regards. They just hand the gun over, and you're like, have a good day. <laughs> oh, I'd be an excellent hit, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I just like giving people guns. <laughs> I play Counter-Strike specifically because you can buy people guns. Oh, that's nice of you. Spread the wealth. There you go. <laughs> it's been it's been a wild week here in, in the Nova Scotia, though. I have been lightly paying attention, but also not. Yeah. Well, we like we had a uh, an election, so that was fun. You're an election. Yeah. <laughs> and then a kid <laughs> got maced, and it's been less fun. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So much mace being used. A lot of mace! Yeah, a lot like, of mace going that, around. That, that hurts for a hot while. Tell me this, what, a D6, D8 damage, honestly? And, uh, as a kid, you're a level zero, like, person, so you could get permanently blinded. Oh, that, could, yeah. that just could take you right out. That is that is true. Oh, fast ones first, oh, then, I then landed. slow ones. Yeah. Uh, there and back again. A hobbit's <sighs> tail. <sighs> yeah, Ooh. slow and slow. Okay, fast, slow, slow. I uh, just can't... Jump arcs. You're you know? getting there though, because you're yeah. now, before you were getting there with two, and now 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 you're bringing uh, both DK and Diddy. 
I do learn. I am a neural net processor in a, spirit. A learning computer? Yeah. Except I learned really fucking slowly, <laughs> and my random access memory is a, a one byte. <laughs> yeah, you don't have a hard drive. It's yeah. just a RAM disk. And, like, <laughs> if you turn your brain off for a second, it just floods the entire thing. I, I, I wanted on Twitter, like, a brainwashing. Like, an actual cleanse. Oh, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I fear that after that goes, my uh, hard drive will just wipe which wasn't th what there's not very much in there anyway but it's like uh it's like when they put the drill to the hard drive to yeah. make sure that your data is destroyed <laughs> oh, don't put a drill in my brain <laughs> we must release the pressure i want to be brainwashed not lobotomized dude. no <laughs> no just do it <laughs> ice pick get it out that's fucked up wasn't it yeah actually <laughs> conceptually um that's awful <laughs> yeah do you know they did one on the white house lawn Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah one of the Kennedys, I think, uh, the Kennedy sisters was like, uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna do a, uh, lobotomy on the lawn of the front, uh, White House, I, th I think, I think, I'm Canadian, so I'm allowed to get my American history wrong. There you go. But, um, I think that was the case, and, uh, yeah, really sad situation there, but, wow, what an interesting tale. <laughs> Ice pick lobotomies are fucking weird. Lobotomies are just weird in general. True. It's just, it's just neat to me. It's just neat stuff. I like science, I like... What's really weird? Also, yeah, we did it. We got the banana. Banana. We got the banana. Banana. Ooh. Oh. Potassium. Banana. Well done, we did donkey, it. my we boy. We fucking did it. Who'd have thought a young whippersnapper like you could have beaten that bunch of no good <laughs> Kremlings? Stop. You've made an old man proud. Go and look in your hoard. I think you'll be in for a surprise. Stop. If I had been playing, I'd have found everything. I'm sure there must be some bonus rooms you haven't found. Fuck, old man, fuck off. All right, let's go to our- <gasps> Look at the bananas! Oh, they're way bigger oh, than I thought. Banana. Just, you go to the horde and there's like a whole bunch of like- <laughs> It's just a dildo in there. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's just a fuck chamber. Yeah, go to your horde, I'm sure you'll be surprised. And it's just like, you got the, uh, what, those, like, those X things? That, oh, like, the guide... creature parade. Yeah, yeah, I, this is the feature I miss about- like old, like with old video games, when they do a, a little feature creature, creature feature, they throw you all your enemies and different names of them. Slip. And then they put them in the books eventually, and then they just took the books away from us. Here's the thing about that, right? Like, every time I bought a game and it came in a case, I'd open that shit up and read the manual on the way home. Exactly. Yeah. That is what you, that is the rite of passage as a kid. You get the game, you strip the shit off of it, and you start reading the manual. You're like, all right. I'm Once excited get... for this game. I want to read up on the lore. Exactly. <laughs> and then and then the, the books became, here's just your controls. And then the books became, we're not going to give you the controls. Or here's just like how to get online or something. Or like some EULA bullshit. There's, there's, I, don't, I don't think, I don't know if there's any anymore. There's like a slip of paper. Maybe that's like an ad or something, I guess, nowadays. But I that's mean, about nowadays, it. Nowadays, uh, times, hang, times, hang, have, hang, times hang. be changing. We're old. Um... Instant gratification is what you want. That's why loot boxes are so successful. That is true, and I yeah. hate it. Which is weird, considering that one of the more, like, loot box skin-intensive games at the moment is uh, Fortnite, which also requires you to run around, find guns, and then uh, about 40 minutes later, you get a game victory or loss. Really naughty. <laughs> Dumb, Dumb drum. drum. <laughs> Master Necky Sr. It's and a, that fuck. It's a, <laughs> it's a it's a bizarre thing. Yeah. I mean, like, press button, receive loot, good chemicals in brain is really easy to, um, to fuck with. I. On guard, that's right. I was like, I know he had a cute name. Winky. We knew Winky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Squawks. I completely forgot about Squawks. Yeah, he held the light in this game. He vomits up nuts in the next game <laughs> that's right yeah you actually do to get him as a uh, companion right because there's like the, the spider levels that yeah you the spider yeah. yeah where you actually turn into the thing yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. surely it's me next shut up cranky <laughs> cranky Kong. <laughs> <laughs> diddy Kong. are they all related coconut gun i mean that would also uh if if <laughs> they're related by kongs uh, the guy that throws the barrels are also a Kong. Hey, well, that's that's where I was going. The Mankey Kong. Ah, uh, wow, funny joke. Punched. Dead. <laughs> yeah, if if that were like strength of a gorilla, that man would be dead. He'd be in the blast zone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. Okay, god. all right. Look. All right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he just stepped on your toe a little bit. Good. Go you know what? You deserve that one, Donkey. All right. 
I did this using oh, one life. Up. You did not. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay, well, look, the uh, all right, we did take a little while. Awesome. Billy Gunn? Billy Gunn, the ass man? <laughs> what? M. Wilson? Mr. Wilson? C. Stamper? I know C. he was Tilson? in this game. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's... Norton. <laughs> <laughs> All right, K. Bayless. Mmm, <laughs> Stevenson. We're just doing the end of every Who's Line episode. <laughs> uh, love, love Who's Line. My D.Y.'s. <laughs> <laughs> Our Beanland, hold on. <laughs> uh... I wonder what the R in Richards R Richardson stands for. I hope it's Richard. <laughs> Richard Richardson. Richard Let's Richardson. Dawson. That said Stinkson. Rogowski. Hilarious. I love foreign names. <laughs> also peacocks. Clob? Ooh. <laughs> oh, peacocks is an animal. I'm a fucking idiot. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my fuck! Oh, that that got me. Excuse me. Oh, that hurt me. Fuck it. I be I beg your pardon. <laughs> I beg of it, please. <laughs> we did it. That was the video game. That is another video game in the bag for the lads. Put it in the chest. Wait, I don't have a chest. I don't have chest sound effects. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah. All right, we got like two minutes left, really. But we can we can really end it whenever we want. Just a second. Okay. Put it in the chest. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do my mime show for you all. I hope you're enjoying my mime show. If anybody's not enjoying my mime show, uh, Stop please... Stop putting me in the box. Stop putting me in the box. Please, please tell me in the comments below. I can say this to you because you can't really infer from uh, my actions that I'm doing good miming. So I'm going to tell you that my miming is superb. Did you know I was in the talent show for miming back in the day? It was great. I had a fun time. I did a baseball routine. Anyway... Game's done. The, the, Game's done. You want you want to see what's in the chest? Hold on, hold All on. Right. Oh wow! Uh, you only get a sneak peek because I had to close it afterwards. You, did you see it? Was that a dildo? Hold on. Fuck, that was a dildo. That's all right. We gotta pixelate that out. All right, all right. Um, hold on. Let me get the dildo out. Okay. All right, I got the dildo right here. Okay. All right. What do I do with it? a zipper sound effect just before the chest sound effect, please? <laughs> oh, God. Next time on Loot Lads. Oh, something completely different. Please. Oh, my God. That hurt. Perfect ending. What do I do with it? <laughs> Alright, I need to piddle.